There are a lot of different embedding options to choose from with JotForm. Let's walk through them all. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of a form. So the first thing I wanna do is go up to the very top, up to publish. Then I'm gonna go into the bottom left-hand corner down to platforms. Now the platforms tab contains tried and well-tested embed codes for some of the most common CMS and publishing platforms. So from here, we can either take a quick scroll or we can utilize the search option at the top to find exactly what we're looking for. Next, let's head over to the embed tab. Now, the embed tab list way more ways for embedding your form. Some of the more popular ones are JavaScript, source code, and iframe embed options. Now, be sure to check out the help article that goes along with this video for individual embed options for more information. So the default embed option is going to be the simple one line JavaScript code. The JavaScript version dynamically loads to your form in an iframe. That means the width and height of the form are automatically generated and you won't need to update the code on your website every time you change something on your form. Next, you'll want to use the full source code embed method if you need to edit the form's code to fit specific requirements. One thing to consider when using the full source code method is that you have to manually update the embed code on your site every time you make a change to your form in the form builder. So let's go ahead and head back. Next is going to be the iframe embed method. If none of these other options work properly, it's designed to work on any web page. Since the form is displayed inside an iframe, it's less likely to conflict with anything on your website. Now, the WordPress option is for managed WordPress.com websites. You don't need to install any plugin for this option. Just simply copy and paste the provided code into a shortcut or custom HTML block to embed your form. Next up, the feedback button. Now, this method creates a floating button on your website, which displays your form in a modal window when clicked on. You can insert the embed code into your site's header file to display the feedback button on your site's pages. Next up, we have our pop-up embed. This method allows you to display a link which opens your form in a new pop-up window when clicked on anywhere on your website. And last is going to be the light box method. Now, this one allows you to display a button anywhere on your website, which opens your form in a modal window when clicked on, and you can configure the light box to automatically display the form when the page loads. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing any of our embed codes, definitely let us know and definitely be sure to check out the help article for more in-depth information on each. If you liked this video and you got some value, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notification every time we put out a video. I'll see you next time.